we are going to learn how you can add rows by time column to your google ad dashboard as you know the formula for rows is conversion value by cost but if you want to calculate rows by, by time then you have to consider conversion value by conversion time divided by cost okay hi guys i'm smriti from solutions 8 and in this video we are going to learn how you can add rows by time column to your google ad dashboard okay so rows as you know it stands for return on ad spend and uh, to analyze real time data you need to add rows by time not rows so as you know the formula for rows is conversion value by cost but if you want to calculate rows by time then you have to consider conversion value by conversion time divided by cost okay so converge the difference between conversion value and conversion value by conversion time is conversion value by conversion time will show all the conversion happen in between your uh, viewing date range like we are viewing 14 days last 14 days data so your uh, conversion uh, value by conversion uh, time column will show all the conversion value reset within this time frame last 14 days and the conversion value stands for it is conversion value by click time not conversion time so it will it will calculate all the conversion that has been the click for that conversion received in between you know last 14 days so actually i have uh, created another video explaining the difference between con conversion uh, versus conversion by conversion time you can watch that uh, tutorial to understand clearly the difference between and the concept then you can continue watch this this tutorial to add rows by time column to your google ad dashboard okay so actually we need to create a custom column to uh, to add rows by time column okay so as you can see we have added this column here it is calculating rows by time and it is calculating as i said all the rows received in between 14 days so it is tracking real time data so to add rows by time column you need to create a custom column okay so go to here columns then you can modify the columns then you can scroll down then here is custom columns just expand this and here you can create a new custom column as you can see we have already added rows by time column but i will show you how we can create a new column to uh, to track to use rows by time from scratch okay so click here uh, and the uh, plus a new a uh, plus custom column then you can name your column then if you want to add a description then you can add then here you need to add a column for that so as i said rows by time is if you you know uh, conversion value by uh, conversion value by conversion time divided by cost then you can calculate rows so here click on the plus icon then you can search for conversion value by conversion time this is not a glitch 
I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, so here is our conversion value by conversion time then you need to divide it by cost okay so click here divide icon then just by just type cost okay so it is cost and as you know row is always calculate in uh, percentage format so you need to change the data format number to percent okay then you just need to save this you can save this okay after saving you will see your custom uh, column here you can uncheck this you know check mark this then you can just apply then if you uh, drag here then you can see the rows by time color and you can analyze the real time rows in this way so in this way you can add rows by time column to your google ad dashboard i hope you like this video if you have liked this please thumbs up and please share this video with your friends colleagues uh, wherever you can and subscribe to this channel to watch these kind of valuable tutorial ahead so thank you for watching and see you again. Bye-bye. Today's talk is about understanding the goal and how to measure that goal and how to look everywhere. And I'm going to pull up a, an example and we're going to have to probably blur the screen here uh, for, for, for if we want to use this publicly. But this is a client that sells hot sauce.